Now sitting from this thermostat over to here, we have a coolant tube. Um, you definitely want to replace these seals. And you can see this one, it's completely flattened. So we'll take the old seals off. And you can see they've just gone quite hard and brittle. Just make sure it's nice and clean in there. So in my kit, I've got a couple of seals here. Um, they are slightly different in their design. One's got a bit of a sort of a square shoulder to it. That one with the square shoulder goes on here because it sits down in that section there. So we can just kind of squeeze that on and squeeze that down into its location. I'm just going to use the back of this just to push it in a little bit. And once we tighten that up, that will squeeze right down to where it needs to be. But I just want to um, push it in a bit just so it doesn't pop out or move as we're tightening it up. And you can see it sits quite proud of the surface, but it will be compressed in once we tighten it up. And on the other end, just got a nice big o-ring here just carefully slide that on in place now just so this one slides into place properly i'm just putting a little bit of um just using actually a little bit of detergent here and that one sits in on that end just make make sure you kind of got this end in the rough sort of spot that it needs to be and then we can just press that in And it goes in probably about a centimetre or so, but you can then begin to see that it lines up to the holes on the underside of this thermostat. And you'll have two of these torque bit screws to tighten that one up. It's a bit hard to get that on camera, but when it lines up, the inside of that pipe just locates itself inside the thermostat housing. And then we can do these two bolts up should be able to run those bolts in just with your fingers um, if everything's lined up nicely. I'm just using a flexible drive screwdriver just to get in and be able to do these bolts up easily. Okay, so that's this thermostat pipe in. Um, now I'm gonna put this last hose on here. And just tighten this clamp up. Okay, I've just ducked around to the other side of the engine because I wanna finish up on this end. I'm just going to reinstall the belt tensioner. Um, now I undo this to remove it, but um, we'll tighten that back up once it's in place. Now. Be careful, that bolt is a reverse thread, um, so don't mix yourself up. And we have a Torx bit that sits on here. Now, this lower section of it here locates just into a little square groove here. I don't know if the camera might just be able to get the very edge of it there. So we'll sit that in. Again, just going to get that bolt started by hand. Now we took loosen this bolt when we're taking it off. I can't quite remember why now, um, but we'll tighten that bolt back up. And you can see here as I'm actually tightening that up, that tension is actually springing back and forth. Next thing is I'm going to put on this uh, bottom pulley. Now we just need to make sure that that notch lines up with that notch on the bottom there. Also make sure that this surface is relatively smooth. You can see that there is some wear marks from where the belt kind of rubs up against on there. Um, that's not a problem at all as long as it's not um, 
sticking out or grabbing. Also make sure that the, the rubber on the center of this balancer is in good condition and there's no big marks or chips. So again, just making sure that that notch lines up with that notch on the bottom there. When these are in the right spot, it doesn't sort of feel like it's super secure, but I've got it there where, look, I can't rotate it. If I pull it out, I can kind of rotate it. But once that notch is engaged, and it only just loosely sits on there um, without the bolt. So make sure you're holding it in this position while you tighten that bolt up. So again, just make sure that it's located correctly, and then we'll put the bolt in. Again, I'm just going to make sure it's in the right spot. I can see that it's sitting nice and evenly all around this space. Now I'm just going to put this uh, belt back on. I don't have my engine mount here. I don't have the air box here or anything like that. So this makes it really easy. So to give you an idea, the tension is sitting here. If you have a 19 mil um, 12 point socket, you can put it on there and we can use that to change the tension. Or well, you can put a 13 mil spanner on there and take up the tension as well. I'm gonna use the spanner, it's just a little bit easier. So the bottom pulley here is our air con. Above it here we have a water pump. Sitting kind of in between the two is the tensioner. Down here is the crank and over here is the alternator. Now the belt goes across the bottom here, up, over to the alternator, back around, around the tensioner, and then around the crank. So that's the pattern that it needs to be. So I wanna get it roughly in that position to begin with. That's fairly easy to get it around the crank. I'm just gonna try and feed it in here now. Often what happens, this tensioner, there's just not enough room just to feed it in there and you need to take almost a little bit of tension off just to get it in there initially. I'm just putting a 13 mil spanner on that bolt, just pressing down. I'll try and put it in a position where you can see. So 13 mil spanner on there and I can press and we can take that tension up. So the smooth side of the belt goes towards that tension. So I'm just going to feed that in there a little bit like that. And it actually kind of gets stuck in there at that point. So I'm going to go around the air con pump at the bottom, go around the air con at the bottom and around the crank. And we want to make sure that they're fitting into all the grooves properly. So we've got it around the crank. It's a bit of a combination working from the top and the bottom. Now once I've got that around the crank and the aircon, I'm just going to pull it sort of towards the alternator and we can see that it's not long enough. But I find this the easiest way to hold it all. Now I'm going to put the tension on. Now if you're having trouble getting it right over the alternator, perhaps just make sure it's lined up on, in the grooves on all of these, because if it's not sitting in the grooves, um, it's going to be that little bit too short to reach over. Now, I've just pushed it on there. It's not quite sitting on that alternator pulley correctly, but it gives me a chance just to have a little rest for a moment. Just take that tension up again and just sit that into place. Now that belt's on there. Now you can always just kind of give it a little bit of a, bit of a pull, make sure it's in place. We'll definitely see that it's right once we start the car up. But now that's done.